So today we're gonna check out the Wake Make Soft Blurring Eye Palette and I got the one in Blue Core Blurring. I caved, okay, I caved and this is a... Uh, oh my gosh, it's... It's so pretty in real life. I'm actually going for a wedding later in the evening so I wanted to use this palette because the wedding theme as well is like baby blue and I have a baby blue dress to match with so I'm like isn't this the perfect chance to use it you know to show you guys hey this is how it's gonna look like so without further ado let's get into it. Just put in my contacts these are from Idol lenses and these are the Uriel ones in Earl Grey. I'll put whatever I'm using down in the description box below so you guys can go and check out the extensive list of what I actually use. I'm actually gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids. I always prime it and today I will be using the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. Tonight is actually my first time ever attending a friend's wedding. Normally when I attend weddings, it's all like relatives and they are usually people who are a lot older than me. To be completely honest, I have not even swatched this palette so we're just gonna pray and hope a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with this shade over here. What's it called? Oh, by the way, this palette, they have names at the back. So the color I'm gonna go in with is in number 5, Turning. Okay, they are quite powdery as well. Kind of expected for Korean shadows. I can barely see much on my eyelids now, so I'm just gonna go and dip in again. This time around, I'm gonna try and like pack it on a little bit and like blend at the same time. It's kind of blending into my skin tone. Yeah, I don't really... C definition per se. Maybe I'm going with like a deeper shade. Before that, I'm just gonna do the same step on my other eye. Let me see this color here. Okay, this is straight up chalk. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this color, this stone color. I'm gonna go and focus it on the outer V, like right here. Maybe it's the fact that when I use shades like this, I usually reach for my ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette. This is like my go-to cool tone palette. Like every shade that I need is in this like palette over here. So normally I would reach for this. So we can see a little bit more definition now, but of course when you're comparing it to like ColourPop's formula, it's not really that intense. Okay, I guess it's slightly more pigmented now, but still. Very, very light washes. Very light washes. I want to pack this blue shade over here in the inner half, like right over here. And I'm curious, is this a shimmer or a matte? It feels like a satin, actually. Ooh, actually that feels quite nice. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a shimmer. Matte white with a hint of blue in it. Very, very light blue. Oh, actually... It swatches pretty well because normally when it comes to white base, white shadows like this, I would expect it to be a little bit more chalkier but it's actually quite finely milled. Wow, okay. And you can really see the blue undertone to it really show up. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the white base here and on a very dense brush, I'm gonna pack it on, on my inner half of my eye. I'm trying to add the white base to my eye so when I layer the blue satin on top of it, it's really going to like pop because I want to make sure the white base is as even as possible. So when I lay down the blue satin shimmer, it will be as even as possible. I'm gonna try and use a brush like this and I'm gonna go into this shimmer over here. This is a very, very icy blue white. A lot of the shadows have a very strong silver white undertone to it, especially for the blues. Actually, this looks kind of cute, but I definitely would want to deepen up like this part of my eye over here. Whatever is going on on the inner half of my eye right now is giving very like 90s icy blue eyeshadow look, isn't it? Right? I'm gonna go ahead and use this over here on my pinky. A very strong blue sparkle base to it. But it's more of like a hue, you know, like there's nothing crazy about it. Just like a hue of colour or sparkle. Ooh, look at that. That is that is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my inner eye right over here. 
this particular shade didn't really have a strong base color to it. It's more of like a fairy dust of blue. On the flip side, it probably has the strongest sparkle among all the four blue shadows. It's a very, very light sparkle. I guess it's building up to the that blue hue a little bit. Like here, it's a little bit more concentrated. Swatch this one over here. Oh, this feels a little bit, not say gritty, but chunkier, like rougher texture. Ooh! Oh, that's nice. Here. Ooh. Wow. This looks way much more silvery as compared to this one in real life. This one still has a very silver undertone but it's a little bit more blue. This is like almost like pure silver looking almost. Interesting. I'm just gonna pop it in the middle of my eyelids and like bring it up a little bit. Wow. This looks very very effective. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm really impressed with how the blues are turning out. Honestly, at the start, it was a bit kind of thing, a little bit. I think now it's really the outer corner, like right over here. I don't really want to put a black, to be honest. So I'm gonna try and see if I can pack on the, this same brown shade. I really try and pack it on my outer V. Because I think this particular brown shade is almost like a wash of color. It just lacks the the depth that I'm really like looking for. I like the tone of it, but the depth is a little bit... Mm, it's a little bit still too light. Okay, I went to look in the mirror outside of this like very like, harsh lighting. I'm gonna turn off this light by my side and you can see... I think this is more daytime appropriate in natural lighting. I think the lights here really does affect because I was afraid that it was looking a little bit like patchy. But honestly, like this, it's actually not too bad. Knowing me, I still would want a little bit more definition. So I am gonna go in to this matte black with glitter. Blue flecks of glitter actually. I'm gonna take it on a smudger brush. And maybe just add it like right over here. Will this work out? Oh, this actually might work out. Huh. This, is, this palette is definitely very different from all your typical K-beauty shadows and five shades of peach, coral, beige, skin tone nudes. <laughs> so this was a very refreshing take and you know, something different for a Korean eyeshadow palette especially. So that's why I was like so keen on getting this. I'm not sure if this palette is actually limited edition, but... <laughs> I wouldn't say get it while you can because I myself, this is really my first time playing around this palette. So far, I am enjoying it and if you guys would want to see me do a comparison with the older formula, I, would, I wouldn't I would mind doing that to be honest. I think the black eyeshadow adds like just the right amount of smokiness to the eye look. Ooh! Okay, this is nice. <laughs> Whatever that black liner I did, I think it saved the look a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back with you guys on how this look will finally end up looking like. So I did add a little bit more shadow, like I brought a bit of the blue shadow like here and used the black to smoke out the under eyes like right over here and here and this is what we are dealing with right now. I had to go with a lip balm and something that's not so pigmented because I feel like the eyes and the cheek is quite heavy with emphasis right now. So I think the lip had to take a back seat a little bit. So generally, I mean, based on my first impression on this eyeshadow palette, I feel that the formula is actually quite powdery. It's not as powdery as compared to the older formula, which I do own. Based off my first impression on the two extreme rows over here, I would say expect a very light wash of color. Don't expect like, anything full blend pigment whatsoever. But you know what that means? That means that this actually makes it quite wearable to um, wear it out. It's nothing too crazy. I'm actually very, very comfortable to wear this icy blue taupey eye look. I think actually these colors go very well with each other. I just wish that it was slightly more pigmented, but knowing that it's K-beauty shadows really you have to expect like a wash of color. I've definitely worn way much more intense blue eyeshadows on my eyes from Western brands, but this coming from a uh, Asian beauty brand, this is actually quite flattering on my skin tone. Granted, this is quite icy blue. It's probably one of the more icier blues that I have in my current collection, so 
I'm actually quite surprised by how I see it is to be very honest but I think this actually worked out pretty well for me personally I am not sure how this would turn out on somebody with a deeper skin tone because really a lot of these shadows over here have a lot of white base in it I don't even like have to swatch it I can tell these have a lot of like whites in it let's do a quick swatch yeah they they're looking like chalk so if you are somebody of deeper skin tone I'm not really sure how this will actually turn out very very white like chalk city really <laughs> quick check-in after probably maybe six hours this is how the eyeshadow is looking like in general the shadows held up pretty well granted i had an eyeshadow base underneath it but i think that really helped in making sure the shadows still stand out and pop you can still see the blues i think there's a bit of fading going on but i think it's still acceptable no creasing as well which i'm very impressed by this wig make eyeshadow my helper just came into the room and she just very nicely placed that dress which i'm gonna wear for the wedding so yeah i gotta run i hope that this video at least you know you guys get a rough idea at least on the first impression of how this wig make palette is I definitely would want to do a comparison video between the old formula and new formula. This is really just today was just playing around and fooling around, you know, that kind of thing. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like, subscribe down below, and also make sure you ring the notification bell. It keeps you notified on when I upload. I usually upload on Friday, so you can keep a lookout for that as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!